Hi guys, I'm down by the Bay of Funday, exploring an area I've never done before. The water's just over there, but I haven't even got out of the truck yet. You can already see some half decent bath salt. I can't really get up there, but it's crumbly and there are uh, little pockets of crystallization it looks like. It's a pretty steep hill so I can't exactly get up it. But definitely looks like it'll be a decent spot. Let's go see what's on the beach. There's some very neat banding. Wonder if it's a flow pattern at all. I'll take that home just anyways. Forgot my bucket, so using a freaking Sobeys bag, but hey, whatever works. Well, uh, just got down here, so not been looking around too much, but it definitely seems, oh wow. Yeah, it definitely seems that this is gonna be a decent area. That is cool. Well, let's definitely keep this beach in memory. Uh, ugh. Okay, I can't do that one handed. There we go. Even all just the basalt pieces here, look at that. That's cool. I'm gonna grab that one. Definitely got errors before the tide's gonna come in on me, so thankfully I'm not too too worried. That's neat. Hm. The beach is actually coated in these little quartz. These little uh neat rocks there. Whatever the heck that is. Pretty interesting with the way the coloring is. More of these quartz like objects. I'm gonna have to stop picking these up. The beach has so many on them, I think I'm not gonna be able to move if I just keep stopping every time I see one. <laughs> but I definitely is a good sign for hopefully some larger agates or such. Well, I'm gonna move a little bit more down beach because this is just the entrance. So if people have been here, I'm guessing they would have seen the bigger stuff right up front. but. It's gonna be hard not to keep stopping. <laughs> wow, that's neat. So many different patterns going on here. That almost looks like it's a larger crystal. So, slow cooling, I believe. Very interesting. This bag is not the best. I should have brought a bucket. The one time I forget my bucket. <laughs> but I've never found a shell that big washed up here. That is really cool. That's gonna go in the bag. Interesting, it seems to be even more black rocks. They got like sea swirls. It's almost like it was once that uh, liquid state. But at the same time, it looks like it cooled fairly quickly for all that. As you see, you got that little shine to it, but the size of the crystals it's confusing me. It looks like it cooled semi slower. Crystal sizes. I'm gonna have to look into that and see how the heck that happened. Unless you guys know, then let's leave it right in the comments. Talking about for the cliff side. As you can see, the cliff itself, the basalt, which is absolutely filled with zeolite. It's quite amazing just how the rock could fill in that well. usually find pretty good samples in the roughly the same area. It's a pretty cool undercut. There's the rock crumbling up above. I'm not gonna go stand underneath that. A bit of a distance. Pretty cool. There's a few fault or area softer material that got worn away quicker. Cool. You can see more.
more of these great samples of the vascular basalt. Amazing. I caught my eye, that little purple thing. I'm just going to put this in the bag. Then I'm going to go down. That's cool. Wonder if it's um a jasper? It looks like all the stuff that Blomid and I just got on the last video. Little coloration. That's neat. And there. Oop, got that yellow going on. I almost want to say that is literally ginormous. Chunk, sorry, foot of Jasper, something like that. That's really neat. That is far too big to bring with me, so it's just gonna sit there on the beach. <laughs> Let's go see what else you can find. Now that's beautiful. It's almost having a bit of boidial effect going on. You can see all the little balls underneath the clear coating. That is amazing. All the way around. That's really cool. Pretty cool. If I remember correctly, that would be quartz, pink field spar, and I think it's a biotite. Hey, don't quote me, but I think that's what the makeup of those are. I think it's a, an igneous granite. See how right I am, or I'm completely wrong. <laughs> There's some nice greens. I believe the greens, uh, oh, there's my hat. Uh, I believe the greens a urukite, if I remember correctly. I think there's some more of it right in the same area too. It's pretty neat. Wow, look at that with the vein going right through it. Some other veins there. Nice drop. The other one. Oh, I'm going to grab those two for sure. Those are neat. More of that bath salt. That looks pretty neat. Looks like it's a bunch of just chunks in it all. Plastered together. It's like some quartz and jasper and stuff. Neat. Gonna clip that one cleaned up. In a different area of the cliff now, as you can see. Pretty cool. Got actual sand and stuff down here now. There's some of those clay material veins. You can see it right at the base there. Which is pretty cool. Let's zoom in. And you can see all that clay line. A lot of fresh material from the cliffs sitting up there. As I've stated, I am a little jumpy around cliffs, if you just seen. And then I figured jumping is good. There are some very polished stuff. 
That is neat. And some smaller ones right beside it. Sure, those getting run through a tumbler would be pretty spectacular. I thought I saw a teeny sea maggot here. There it is. It's a tiny little one. Still pretty cool. Put those in the bag. Rocks just keep tumbling right down from there and hitting the ground. <laughs> it's like a lot of that ice fell recently too. As soon as the major thaw cycles over, the cliff should uh, staple up again a teeny bit. Right now, you really can't go near them without risking a boulder smashing right on the head. And that would definitely not be fun. <laughs> Alright, and then all these giant rocks. I'm not going to find too much into these. If anything small just sinks in between them all. Now we're getting to some semi-smaller stuff again. Here's a neat area. Looks like there's a uh, bands. The zeolite under there. I'm sure I can get a little bit closer. I just don't want to. You see, there's a pretty good undercut, and I don't want to go into that at all. See some of those bands? Little hole inside the cliff right there. Bands. I would zoom in for you, but when we're just looking at the last geolite area, my lens air occurred and you know, I kind of want to keep the video rolling. <laughs> That's cool. There's a little tree. She thumped this hanging there. Finally found one of those little holes. See, it's a quite a large rock. I've been hoping to find one of those for quite a while now, so that's pretty cool. It goes in quite a ways. <laughs> Neat. Nice. Now that is cool. You can see the crystals radiate out. That's really neat. Look at the size of that, like nearly the size of my hand. It's in a big boulder, so that's not going nowhere. <laughs> I'm sure that didn't form overnight though. veining so this could be a good area boulders look good Thank you. 
of that, I want to say it's almost a still bike, but hard to tell right on the beach like this. Little agate and jasper on the actual basalt. That's pretty neat. That looks pretty. Could it be? Could it be? And it's in there. Oh. Oh, fuck. It is. I don't know if that green's actually part of it or a bit of algae. It looks like it's almost part of it. That's pretty nice. That's really nice. Get that cleaned up. Send it off to someone to get sliced. Whew. Definitely the best thing we found here so far. Look at the size of that too. Too bad. It's quite an interesting area to search. This is all exposed uh, vascular basalt, it seems. There must be a vein running through different type. See crystal pockets in areas still. There's the classic band thing I've been looking for. Beautiful. All the way around. Every time I stand up, I gotta kneel back down. More banding. I'm gonna have some friggin' legs. Crazy from all the squatting. <laughs> I pretty well walked. I don't know how long, but I don't have a phone or anything like me, but about that many rocks going the other way. But I didn't find too much. It's pretty basic. There, but I did have a couple finds that you would have already have seen. But I barely even walked this. Seems to be a lot more fine so far, so I have to keep it in future mind just to go this way instead. Uh, interesting, probably polished it. Very rough agate. You can see there is transparency around edges. What's interesting is that the outside is very rough. You're sitting like this, turn it over, and bam, a lot more. Oh, pretty interesting. How's that for some striking red?
pretty cool. Cut more. Pretty rough, but I'm sure you get something of them. This area looks pretty nice. Got all kinds of more pebbles and stuff that I've been looking for. The problem is a lot of it's still snow here. So kinda hard to view stuff underneath this snow. Almost reminds me of Tiger's Eye. Little bit of translucent going on. I can see little particles stuck deeper down into it. There's no sun here, so it's really not helping the camera. <laughs> that reddish pink band going around is pretty neat. Well guys, I've been out here for a couple hours, got some decent finds, I mean nothing over the top, but it sure as heck wasn't nothing. I think as soon as all this snow melts down again, I will be able to see some better things, but definitely going to keep this location in mind. It's very interesting, it's like a lot more just plain rock at times, but when you do find something, it does seem pretty nice but there's a lot less to find. So it's quite interesting in that aspect. Definitely gonna keep an eye on it and come back down here in probably a few weeks or so and check out a slightly different area. So, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.